vacation time lends itself to a lot of photography. If you want your photos to look great and actually make their way from your smartphone to a printer, you'll want to hear what our expert has to say. Professional photographer Ashley Henderson is here with expert advice for amateur photographers. First, you suggest we cut out the clutter. Cutting out the clutter. So if you want to see the people that you're taking pictures of, mm -hmm. if you really want to enjoy those people, get them in front of the camera, then all the clutter, you yeah. really don't need in your picture. Okay, so we're looking at an example of a family sitting in front of the house. What's wrong with this picture? So you see all of the house, you see the decorations, <laughs> which is great, but if you're on a family vacation, you want to see the family. Yeah. So how could they make it better? So if you zoom in, look at that, eliminate all the clutter. You see the pretty faces. Mm -hmm. You see the people that you really want in the photograph. Yeah, that looks so much better. I couldn't even make out any details <laughs> right. about these people. <clears throat> right. Okay, your next suggestion is to move around. Move around. So you want to zoom in. You want to get different angles. And it's great because it's digital photography. Mm -hmm. So you can take 50 pictures of the same thing. Right. You might like one angle a lot better than the other angle. So. We see the one picture, and then we see it from a different angle. Yeah, very nice. So just nice. have fun with it. You don't have to just stand, have That's it stand right. in the center of the That's right. Move frame. around, have fun with it. Okay, you suggest we don't zoom in with the phone or the camera, but zoom That's in with right. your feet. Zoom in with your feet. So with um, iPhones, when you're taking pictures, it's going to become very pixelated. Mm -hmm. It's going to become very grainy mm -hmm. if you zoom in on your camera. Right. So just use your feet. Walk up closer to the subjects. As we see in this picture, just get a little closer. Yeah, that looks so much better. Okay, tip four, make sure we have enough light. Make sure you have enough light. So a lot of times we have our camera set on auto, which mm -hmm. is great, but if it's in the evening, you're going to want to turn that flash on so that you know the camera is going to use the flash. Okay, so this picture is kind of dark. It's like a little dark, but yeah. then with the flash, you see that it's illuminated. You can kind of see what's on the outskirts of the picture, where the picture was taken. And can you talk about being backlit? I mean, that's something that we in this TV business understand very well, but a lot of people taking cameras on their phone don't necessarily understand that the sun has to be positioned correctly in order for you to look good in the That's right, that's right. So if you're gonna take a picture straight into the sun, it's gonna be very washed out. So once again, move around, get the best angle, have maybe your people turn around and look at you in a different way. Gotcha, okay, finally, make the photograph more dramatic. How do we do that? That's right. So here's a great picture on the beach, cute little girls jumping up and down, but we now turn it into black and white. We enhance it, blur Ooh. the edges, and it's a little more dramatic. It is. I like Maybe it. Maybe a great picture for your wall. Yeah. And once again, it's digital, so you can have fun with it. You can change it around, and then if you don't like it, you can change it back. Right. And it's really easy to turn something from color to black and white. Exactly. It? There's tons of apps that will do that. If you have computer programs, they'll do that. But you can even upload them to different sites, and those different sites will walk you right through it on how to do it. Okay. Is there a particular camera phone that you like better than another? Or what do you use? So you I <laughs> have I have an iPhone, uh -huh. and I think a lot of people forget sometimes just to take pictures, to bring it out, to capture those special memories, to capture those moments. Because mm -hmm. a lot of times when we're on vacation, we're at the amusement park, we're not taking our big cameras. Yeah. But to remember, you have your phone, and to always capture those memories. That's why it's there. That's right. These are great tips. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. When